House Bill 113 by Representative McMakin, public records, public records held by public post-secondary education institution, copying fees paid for student-produced media outlets. Representative McMakin. Thank you, Mr. Acting Speaker. Thank you, Madam Clerk, media, guests, members, those watching around the world, and John Kay. This is a public records bill. If a university student that works for a paper asks the university for records, the university can no longer charge that student organization. All it does, I ask for final passage. Please, let's see, there is a question from Representative Laura Bedain. Rep, who is John Kay? Some guy that works on the fourth floor. Is he elected or just a friend of yours or he's? He is not a friend. Doppelganger. But every time you come, you always mention his name. Is he, what is he doing on the fourth floor? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> so you mention somebody, is every time you come up here, you mention John K, but you don't know what the hell he does. You let me know. Come on, rep. Is there a real John K? Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Representative Freeman on the bill. Question Th on the thank bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem. Yes, a question on the bill. <laughs> um, I don't really care who these other people are. Thank you. Thank you for telling us about them every time, Rep. Macon. McMakin. I am curious, can you give me a, a specific example? So if it's the Tulane Democrats, first of all, does this apply to private institutions? No, ma'am. Okay, so if it's the LSU Republicans, and they want a copy of what are they? What are they? What might that group be requesting a copy of? It would not be for them. Uh, an example would be the LSU Reveille, the official student newspaper of the university. Oh, so it's only for the. What about the radio station or the some some uh, campuses also have, you know, internet, YouTube. If they're TV. officially acknowledged by the university, they would be part of this group. Okay, so what would they be asking for? That's all. I'm just curious. Any public record. So. I mean, could they get copies of people's grades and That's what not a public record, no ma'am. Okay, could they get copies of something, a professor, some notes? I mean, what, what, can you give me an example of what they might request? They could request a uh, salary database is something they request every year at LSU. They could request that. Okay, so, this, so they could request salary database, they could request, because I worked a lot on Title IX would they be able to request the Title IX reporting? I mean, that's supposed to be public anyway, but that's the kind of information. It's a public record. Okay. So if there was accusations against football players or students in a dorm, they could request that? They can request whatever they want. If it's a public record, the university has to provide it for them without a fee. Okay. Is, is there some issue right now with students making these requests? I'm just curious. The current issue is that certain universities charge the students and the students can't afford to get the record to hold the universities accountable. So okay. there's a way to hold universities accountable. Okay, did students come to you to, for this? I was just curious. I was uh, made aware of this by a tweet I saw actually of the university doing this. Okay, but it applies to like UNO, LSU, Southeastern, Northwestern, any public Louisiana university. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you very much. Rep Representative McMakin, please close on your bill. Ask for final passage, thank you. Representative McMakin moves the final passage of the bill. As many of you are in favor, will vote yay. Those opposed, vote nay. The clerk will open the machine. Members, vote your machine. Representative Mandy Landry, yay. Representative Land Mandy Landry, yay. Boyd, yay. Yeah, Representative Boyd, yay. Ventrella, yay. Ventrella, yay. Bagley, yay. Bagley, yay. Davis, yay. Horton, yay. Mellorine, yay. Members, are you through voting? Would Madam Clerk please close the machine? 99 yays, zero nays, and the bill has finally passed. Representative Macon moves to adopt the title and move to reconsider the votes by which this bill finally passed. Lay that motion on the table without objection, so ordered. 